Hello and congratulations on your admissions to USC. We're very excited to introduce you to the Thomas Lord Department of Computer Science. In today's advising session, we will be going over some general department and faculty information, academic requirements for all of our computer science programs, campus resources that you might find helpful during your first year here, and of course, how you can make the most of your time outside of the classroom. The department chair and our associate chair for undergraduate programs are not only faculty members here at the Thomas Lord Computer Science Department, but they also play major leadership roles for our faculty. Other faculty members that you will become familiar with from our department are listed here on this slide. Many of these professors often teach some of our core CSEI courses that many of you will be enrolling in during your registration session. Throughout your time in the Computer Science Department, you will be working closely with our academic advisement team. Students will be assigned an advisor from the department after the third week of courses. If you do have any academic advisement questions before this time, you may reach out to the department at csdept at usc.edu. Your advisor will be your first point of contact for any issues related to your USC degree. You will meet with them throughout the semester to determine your course plan and resolve any academic issues that you may run into throughout your time here. Here you will find some important academic advisement expectations. Currently, the department is only offering virtual appointments via Zoom. Once you have your assigned advisor, you may request an in-person appointment. Students who are more than 10 minutes late to a scheduled advisement meeting will be considered a no-show and your meeting will be canceled. All communication with advisors should be done using your USC email address. We do recommend that you check this email often as advisors typically communicate with students throughout the entire semester. We ask that you allow at least two business days for your advisor to respond to any emails. Advisors generally hold appointments from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Mondays through Friday. Moving on to our academic requirements, this slide introduces you to our primary CSCI course sequence. CSCI 102 is where most students will start their CSCI coursework. For those who have AP credit or who have tested out of CSCI 102, will generally be taking CSCI 103 along with CSCI 170. These two courses will then lead you to CSCI 104. The department often refers to our core computer science courses as grade qualifiers, or GQs for short. Our grade qualifier courses include CSCI 102, CSCI 103, CSCI 170, CSCI 104, and finally CSCI 201. These grade qualifier courses do require a grade of C or higher to be considered passing. This means that if students receive a grade of a C minus or lower, they must repeat these courses. Departmental approval is required in order to retake a grade qualifier course. Students will meet with their academic advisors if they end up having to retake one of these courses. Students who do not satisfy these degree requirements after repeating the course may be disqualified from the computer science program. Per USC policy, non-grade qualifier courses require a grade of D- or higher to be considered passing. The computer science department houses four majors, CSCI, CSBA, CECS, and CSGA. All of these courses do follow the common core CSCI sequence. Some of their major differences can be seen on this table. Please note that for the CECS major, these requirements are mainly highlighting our computing track. An important part of our degree requirements include technical electives. Each major has a different technical elective requirement. We highly recommend that you look at our approved technical elective list before making any decisions on enrollment. 
We recommend that you also double check your chosen course with your academic advisor to ensure that it will satisfy your technical elective requirement. Courses used as part of the core major requirements are not allowed to double count as technical electives later on. We understand that the transition to USC can be difficult. We highly recommend that students utilize academic resources to assist them, especially during their first semester. The computer science department always has course producers and teachers assistants assigned to courses to assist students and their office hours should be listed on your course syllabus. Another great resource is the Viterbi Learning Program. This program offers tutoring services in several different specializations. For support in non-computer science courses, we recommend that students look at the Dornsife Supplemental Instruction Program. Here you may find some assistance with math and science courses. Another great resource is the USC Math Center. This center is designed to help students with their math courses. Students in our CSBA program also have access to Marshall Academic Resources. They might be able to help with some business and economics courses. Some popular resources recommended by our students include the Center for Engineering Diversity and the Korchak Center for Learning and Creativity. USC takes academic integrity violations very seriously. We highly recommend that students speak with their professor before collaborating on any type of project or homework assignment. If a student is caught in violation of any academic integrity policy, it may result in a zero on an assignment or possibly a grade of F in the course. Students can find academic integrity policies listed in the USC catalog. Some important wellness resources that all students have access to include the USC Student Health Center, the USC Campus Support and Intervention Office, and Mindful USC. We highly recommend that students get involved outside of the classroom. A great way to do this is to join some student organizations. USC offers several types of organizations. In fact, the CS department offers a list of CS-centered organizations. We also have some Viterbi-affiliated organizations, and then you can find all other campus organizations through Engage SC. One great advantage to joining the Viterbi family is our Viterbi Career Connections Office. This office can assist students with finding internships, reviewing resumes, and even doing interview prep. USC does have a central career office as well that students may go to, and you could also use their website to find jobs. Now that we have introduced you to the Computer Science Department, the curriculum, and some resources that you can find on campus, we would like to address your upcoming Trojan registration. Please note that these are some frequently asked questions we receive from students during these time periods. We do know that not all AP or IB scores may be in our system yet. Once you receive these scores, if they do change your placement for some courses, you may send us screenshots of these scores at our department email and an advisor will help you update your course plan. If you would like to place into a higher CSCI course, you must have AP credit for AP Computer Science A, or you must have taken and passed the CSCI 102 challenge exam. Students will be using the web registration portal to register for their courses during their designated registration session. The Viterbi office does offer some WebReg tutorials and information about these tutorials was sent to students via email. Students currently have access to the web registration portal. The correct registration date and time will not appear on the web registration portal until about one hour before your registration period begins. If you have any trouble during your designated registration period, the Computer Science Advisement Team will be available via live chat. You may find the link on this slide. If any of the courses that you are scheduled to enroll in become full, then we do recommend that you email us at our department email. An advisor will get back to you with some backup course options. 
Again, if this happens during your registration period, you may utilize the live chat. If a course is listed as requiring D clearance or departmental clearance, you may email us at our department for any computer science courses. If you are requiring D clearance for a non-computer science course, you will need to contact the department that owns that course. If you are not able to attend your scheduled registration period, we do recommend that you contact the Viterbi office at viterbi.studentservices at usc.edu. Students can find important dates and deadlines on our university calendar for the spring 2024 term. The dates indicated in red are registration deadlines to withdraw or adjust courses. If students have any questions or concerns regarding these dates and deadlines, you will have an opportunity to speak with your assigned advisor regarding them. We appreciate you joining us today for our academic advisement session. And again, if you have any questions after today, we recommend that you email us at our department email listed on this slide. We hope you have a great first semester and as always, fight on.